just in time for your weekend, Rob. Weather watchers are finding that tonight we have some relatively mild temperatures and highs today were warmer than yesterday, especially near the lake. Well, highs went to 81 in Bourbon, 82 in Berwyn and Montgomery, 82 and in Gurney, Rich gave us 72 degrees. So it's still quite mild out there for this late hour. We are at 74 from Jen in Manhattan, and she was just capturing her beautiful walk today there in Manhattan, Illinois. So our trends over the next few days call for warm air to start moving in. It looks like the jet stream will be positioned right over Lake Michigan, sending cool air over the state of Michigan and the Northeast. We will be in that warm sector right now. Downtown at 62, 57 in Waukegan, 78 in Ottawa. Showers and storms, though, big thunderstorm problems in Iowa tonight and even some severe cells were indicated here closer to the Quad Cities. One strong cell is moving to the southeast to 25. It looks like this is going to be moving through Concord and Princeton here after 11 o'clock, but it may just move south of LaSalle County. A lot of this will miss us, but what's going to move in is the humid air, and we are going to be warming up, especially away from the lake. So as we look at the rainfall estimates, you can see the trend here. A lot of this rainfall falling in Iowa, and then everything tomorrow afternoon would be south of I-80. Rainfall amounts on Friday, though. That looks to be the day when we will see some rain. Here's Friday morning. We're quiet. Friday afternoon, so for the evening rush, pretty active. That quickly moves out of the picture, but then more rain chances do return for Saturday. So we're going to have a stationary front, just sort of waver in place. It's going to pull in all that heat and steam, touch off a rain chance 50% on Friday, and then on Saturday, a leftover chance we should dry out on Sunday. So tomorrow, Rob, 82, stray storm mainly south of I-80. Okay, thanks, Mary Kay.